What is going on? It is Daniel with Cuervo ATV. And finally, after two years of not having a bike, a quad, a Raptor 700 of my own. Well, we got the 2023 Raptor 700. This is the base model and boy does this color pop. And the pictures on the Yamaha website, it didn't look as bright as it is. It is a very bright, um, almost baby blue, a little bit different. They call it cyan. It is bright. It looks really good to me. Kind of see what your own opinion is of color, but it will definitely not be mistaked for mistaken for a different bike. That is for sure. So we are going over what mods I have done so far. I have yet to ride it. We are still in the rainy season here. Some guys are out riding local. We're in uh, Northwest here in Oregon. Uh, some guys are pushing their luck with the weather. But um, for me, I'm gonna wait a little bit. I got lots of work to catch up on and do. But we're starting with some mods. So what did we do so far? Well. Had a couple little chains of plans, had some extra parts uh, sitting around, and so we started modifying. And by extra, I mean stuff that wasn't uh, directly allocated to a build so far, and uh, stuff we had on the on the shelf. So, <clears throat> for short short term, since I don't have crankshafts on the shelf at the moment, I decided to do a high compression stock bore with our plus one head package, which includes our 5050 uh, billet camshaft. So what that consists of is a CP custom piston of ours, 14 and a half compression, um, ARP head studs. So obviously you can't see the piston, we see some head studs there. Our plus one head package, which is a CNC ported head with Ferreira valves, RD spring kit, uh, modify rocker arms. We CNC the uh, the chambers of the head as well as the porting. Uh, new seals, new uh, pivot shafts. We do a swivel tappet adjuster with modification for that. Basically, all of the upgrades we can do to make these things make the best power as possible, but um, live as long as possible and push RPM. So all of our head setups can run safely uh, 9600 RPM. That is a big uh, change off of what anybody else is doing. So in this camshaft profile, we run at a uh, low 9000s. Pretty much on the factory limiter is fine. Uh, we can bump it a little bit. On our plus two heads, we can uh, change that. So if you're interested in that, give me a call. But the plus one head package is, is ported and works with our OEM factory board throttle body. So we upsize the factory throttle body, three millimeter, cut down the plate, um, or cut down the shaft and put a new plate in there and punch those out as much as possible to give us as much flow as possible. So here you see our CR Cuervo cam cover. We do offer those. So all of the components that we're talking about, we uh, try to keep on the shelf if at all possible. There's a lot of delays, but everything we're talking about, we do sell. So a lot of guys don't know that. I think we only sell the small components that we have listed on eBay, but we sell everything. So that is a big part of our business is mail order. Uh, Monster Shorty exhaust. No emblem color on this. I don't want to uh, uh, get any other different colors on the bike. Keep the blue and the black and um, a little bit of silver. So Monster Shorty we have underneath. Fuel Customs Intake. Uh, this one I change. I run a little bit different filter on mine than what they come with. Uh, we have an hour meter. Normally I don't run those, but I put it on this bike, kind of keep track of a few different things long term since I am going to uh, 
have this bike around for a while. Uh, we run no air box as we are going to be building this motor um, a bit beyond what I'm talking about right now. Um, basically, air box starts being a restriction in the um, low 70s horsepower range. So we are doing away with that. Uh, Power Commander 6 underneath with ignition control. I believe that's uh, the only option at the moment. We run the Armadillo Case Saver. A uh, very nice piece there. Fits well. I like how it looks. Some people run a different deal um, and rave about it. But you shouldn't have to modify a part to be able to fit it properly on your bike. That is uh, something I don't like to see. Uh, we got these headlights. These are pretty interesting deal. First set of uh, headlights that I've bought and that I've been happy with. Um, they are fairly bright. We got them from Retro ATV. There is a bunch of different companies that are going to be selling these. They got a um, high and low beam and then I wired in the marker. It does also have a turn signal option on that. That will be uh, amber. You have to wire it up if you're going to use that. So you can wire them amber to run all the time or whatnot. But they do come plug and play. Um, but without the side marker or amber. Let's see, I'll turn that back on from the front. So those are worth the upgrade. I believe they're about 200 bucks when I got them. Okay, what else? So... This bike is going to be running on E85. So, in my group of uh, local customers here, a lot of us run E85. It is a cheap option for good horsepower. The bikes run cool. Um, E85. So, injector change in the throttle body. Can't really see that. Uh, fuel pressure regulator in the tank. We do have fuel pressure regulators for... Um, 06 through 20 and 21 and above they are different we do have options for that in this particular bike we will run a seven heat range spark plug with the e85 so early on fan kit and gauge well, let's see if we can take a look at that we have a gauge and a uh, thermal switch on the back of it that will control the fan relay and turn the fan on at 200 degrees and turn it off at 185 degrees that is a kit we have uh, one of the parts that we have listed on ebay um, that will take care of keeping the bike at a consistent temperature not getting too hot when you're pushing it hard keeping that uh, fan coming on a little early to uh, keep temperatures stable. That is the main thing. You don't want to be out pushing pushing a bike hard and it be up at the 225 range and that fan's just hanging out, waiting waiting for you to overheat the thing. So, um, Next is we did a drain plug reducer underneath. That helps with um, not stripping out the case over time, reduces, put a smaller bolt in there. Um, AIS plate on the head there to get rid of the popping. And then we have a direct drive lockout kit with uh, our accessories on there. So we have a billet fill plug there. The direct drive kit, we sell those as well. Um, our accessory cover. What the deal is with this cover, we don't need to see through there, at least I don't. Uh, you can't really see anything anyway, it doesn't matter, but we put accessory solid cover on there, which makes this whole uh, cover be as shallow as possible. So we have more room on the foot peg. Uh, along with that, with the modified cover, you need to modify the brake pedal. Now you can bend the stock pedal 
Um, they look ugly, they can work, but we built our own pedal and it has a nice big foot pad on it with a lot of traction there. So nicely placed. What we can do on these foot pedals is if you wanna buy one of the pedals before you have a lockup is we can actually unbolt the pedal pad and put it on the backside for fitment with a uh, stock case. That is an option there or leave it as it is and still works fine with that. Right now, I don't have the peg pegs I'm going to be running. Um, I have a modified set of pegs with um, DS450 pegs welded over them to have a nice uh, upsweep. I'll show those later on. But showing that, we are working a little accessory on the... Um, brake switch this one i had to modify that spring not happy with that but we're going to have a fix for that so it will be a direct uh, fitment with that brake pedal without modifying anything else so up top we have ermasi thumb throttle assembly if you haven't seen these they're pretty cool you got an adjustable lever there a couple of different positions um Every bike I have from now on is going to have one of those. I modified this one on the top. Give it a little silver brush look. And over on the right side, I get rid of the factory lever. The factory lever is uh, horrible both in, uh, in looks, fitment, and in how it uh, functions. I mean, it functions fine, but it's very gritty. has some issues, so... We saw this lever assembly, it's lightweight. It was kind of coming off of um, the drag bike stuff. It was a nice lever that worked well for that. And now we run it on all of the Duners. It has a nice uh, fitment there, smooth operation. The main thing is it pulls the clutch cable properly, the right length to release the clutch all the way so you're not dragging the clutch. Um, ASV levers, pretty much everything on the market will not pull the clutch cable as far as it needs to and uh, kill clutches, overheat clutches. So speaking of clutches, inside the direct drive cover, we have a mechanism there putting additional clutch pressure. We did do a uh, full fiber modification to that setup. We are on factory springs because we have a lockup. So this particular motor, stock crankshaft, 14 to one compression, head package, board throttle body. It's gonna make in the 73 horsepower range, probably about 54 torque uh, on E85. Uh, on 110, they're gonna be very, very close to the same number. They come out uh, very close to the same. So that is it for now. I am waiting on a swing arm to come in. I'm going to put an 8 over swing arm on this bike. Later on, I am going to do long travel suspension. Uh, most likely Lone Star stuff. I haven't decided on Stage 5 Alcas or Fox. Um, Fox shocks for it. So haven't decided on that yet. I haven't ran the Foxes before. We're not talking about the floats. We're talking about coilovers. Uh, I haven't ran those yet. So any input on that of what you guys think? Um, the um, Stage 3 Elkas, uh, any of that stuff, not to... It works. It's a great budget option, but not too excited about it. That was kind of the reason why I bought a base model is... All the suspension is going to come off anyway. So, um, yeah, at the price point, it, it all worked. But um, these aren't the best shocks for sure. Non-adjustable rear uh, is kind of a, a nuisance as well. But um, we will be modifying all that out in short time. So, I think I covered everything we did at the moment. Maybe there's a couple things I missed couple little tiny modifications I missed, but I think we got everything. So 
that is it. I am happy to be out riding again. I sold my other 2020 that I built. Um, at the time, it was a great dollar. I got a lot of my money back out of it. I got the usage out of it. Didn't know where the uh, economy was going at the moment. We've been going downhill for quite a while. But um, happy to be back in the saddle. So there we have it. Thanks for watching. Um, we will see you out on the dunes for the local guys and everybody else. Uh, stay shiny side up and we will talk to you on the next one.